YouTube, this is Vacuum Out 8 today, and today we're just going to do the demo of this uh, DC 44 animal. Now, as you can see um, on the original video, we had a very scratched up pole, and I managed to source one of these for a very cheap price indeed. These, actually, these poles actually are about £55 from um, Dyson Direct. One thing that was missing from the uh, machine, which this is why there's a delay yeah. on the video, yeah. was this yeah. tool here. Yeah. Yeah. Now I managed to source one of these brand new, brand new, unused for thirteen pounds. Yes, it's been used. I don't think it has. As you can see, it does work. I use that. Use that. Hey. You used it. I used it a second ago to see if it worked. Yeah, that's why it's got dirt in it. So, yeah, because this one, it is absolutely in great condition, this little terrible tool. Um, so that's that one where I can nail up. Yep. Done that one? Right, now, I'm going to take that off now then. The, the interesting thing about the DC44, the DC44 was the second generation of their stick back. Um, no, the DC44 and the DC44 are seen doing the shrub at the same time. Yeah, I know, but the 35 came out before the 44, mate. Yeah. Yeah, the 44 was the last version of this style because after this, they come out with the 59, which was the B6. And I've seen that. I've seen. The 59 and they still have the 5 in there too. Yeah, because they, 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 they used to sell the 59 and the 44 together at one time in the shops. And, um, and, and the V5. V6. The V5 too. V5, no, I know the V5. The DC55. Oh, DC55. You'd have those in. Right. Sure. So. We're on the first V, we're on the, like the V6 all come out. So yeah, so this one was the the first one or the second uh, generation of stick back and if you compare a 35 next to a 44 they practically look the same apart from um, the colour uh, the main difference was with it was the battery um, this one is a what can I call it? A yeah, this battery is a replacement battery. Um, but the reason why we're using this one because this is actually its nearest battery, um, and it actually works the best because it actually has the most running time. Because because the batteries, yes, and that was another good feature about these machines. No, in new came up so it's up with these. Oh, did he? Yeah, these pumps things. Yeah. It's not working in his. Three, yeah, so this battery, this battery, it work. Um, you could take out that to uh, change it quite easily. So you could actually buy two batteries and for this. The, battery the other thing you can do with that is if you demo that with the, if you get the, the charger, this is the advantage over this, over the V6. Is, so take not, a battery out then. This is not the white charger, guys. You can actually. This is not the white charger, guys. Yeah, that's a, that's a, what? So you can actually charge the battery out of the machine. I think that's like a D44 or something. Yeah, so what or you do. Or D55 thing, maybe. Yeah, so what we do here is. Remove that. This one is a slightly different system to the, uh, the V6 and the V7 and the V8 because you've got a. I made light. the V10. I made the V10. The light is on the charger, and what happens with this one is, when the light goes out, the you V10 know the battery's cartridge. fully charged. And the V10 so uh, the what V10 we'll do now? It. it also would have come with a dock, and um, we have actually got another dock with a charger on it. But I look uh, personally. Yeah, that's upstairs somewhere. I still like to uh, charge them. 
it's always nice to have one out. We've got one in the dock and we've got one out of the dock so we can um, charge all the different ones really. So yes. Yeah, yeah so the one that's in the dock is being that white behind us. Uh, this one also has got a, a slit in it which I think they use. This tool set was around when the DC-16 came out and I think they revised it with the DC-59 to compensate for the uh, why is these 16 motors are gone now? Yeah, the, yeah, they get a fault on them because the, the 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 microchip in these yeah, so, yeah. the microchip in these are actually in the in the actual um what? they're actually in the uh, the oh. battery while the micro while the microchip the DC 16 is in the handle. That's right, it's in the handle. Dad. So, so that what uh, we'll do we, now I, is I plugged the in the D sixteen and not a working battery that's it. Like battery. Oh, yeah, because you can take take a battery and charge them in another one. Yeah. And then they work. So what we'll do now is we'll get some um yeah, no. some Hoover food down on the carpet. I would like to also show you this before we start. This head here yeah. is very similar to the first generation head. This one is a 20 watt head. Uh, when you're looking at the V8s and V10s now, they're 50 watts and they're a lot more effective. These oh, weren't that effective. Go on then. You know, what that Dyson's called? Uh, the City. Yeah. The the one with the, the turbo head of it. Right. No, it's like that. That's right. Yeah. So what we'll do now, we'll, we'll, we'll get some dirt on the carpet and we'll see how well this one uh, performs. Um, there is also two modes on there. There's the, the high mode, high mode, and the low mode. So you have got the two speeds. And and the V10 has got five. And also this one is a analog switch opposed to the the digital switch that they have on the 59. So uh, what's the digital switch? Well, the digital switch only works when it's when you got power in. That one there is an analog switch, which means you can switch it on and off. No, when 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 you're not using it. When you're not using it, because when you um, have a DC-59 running and then you put it on full, the only way you can take it off the power setting is by switching it back on. So you need to charge it back up, don't you? So, uh, yeah, we'll get some food, we'll get some room food on the carpet now and we'll get this one a, we'll have to push the button a push bit it. of a demo on this one with uh, various tools. So between the 44 and the 35 was the battery capacity because obviously they wanted to make them... Um, it, was, it was the start of when they... We're trying to, like they do now, they're not developing uh, full-size vacuums anymore, um, like uh, mains the, powered. I wanted the ladies... Because... One of the ladies was trying to buy a Dyson to say, Why? Do you want to get the carpet cleaner? Yeah. The racks? Oh. The curries? Yeah. Her say, Dyson said, they're not making more... No, they're not developing vacuum. anymore. No, her, her thought... They're not making any yeah. more vacuum cleaners. That's yeah, that's thought. right. And I didn't hear. I didn't hear. No, her, then. What what what, 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 what you got a member of Dyson's mains powered vacuums? Yeah. They've been developing them for about 25 years. Yeah, so I got every single one. I mean, uh, basically, this one here from about. I mean, it was the DC30 was the first digital. And then they basically well, built up. The DC thirty is like that, built with that stick on it, isn't it? Uh, uh, not that purple one I got. No. no. So, the DC thirty was the first one with the V two in it, Ugh. and then um, you know they've developed this machine. Uh, I'll pound the dust. All right. Bit. Took it as far as they can, and then they come out the DC fifty nine. They've developed that, that one. And that and that purple down for a couple of years. And that purple one of these five. I mean, what I was told today. And that purple little one to these five, not. What? Purple little one. What is? Fifty-nine. Yeah. Yes. That's the first one. There, yeah, that was the first V six because they called it a fifty-nine, and then they re rebranded it all to like uh, a more of a universal. The, shake the little one with the power head. What's? Yeah. That's the first digital one. No, what's well, the second one? one. The. The main difference is we got, I got the, first one. The, the the other difference between the the thirty five and the forty four is animal them. is this actual head. The thirty five head is only about that wide, 
about if you look at this one here and then you look at like the V6 um, and the DC 59 heads they are identical apart from the fittings um, this one will actually fit a DC 59 but a DC 59 one will not fit that one because they've got the same power outputs because that's a I think that's a 20 watt head isn't it? so let's get this one let's get this one um, cleaning up it's a bit proper now then so as you can see now that you did a pretty good job that one you know it has a 20 watt motor in this one opposed to the uh, the lower power one now let's try the little turbo tool. Let's let's get the little one on now and see how uh, well that one picks. Oh yeah, you can do that with me if you want. You you grab it. All right. So we'll get this one out. Uh, look, it's still left the bed. Yeah, very little. Uh, only one piece that didn't shut up. This one here is the small hand back one, but you can also convert yeah. this to do your car race. Yes, and. Use a Use the you can actually there. stick them on the end of the stick like that. Yes, and you can. This, and this is only vacuum or So that one's a multi-floor because it's got the carbon brushes and the, um, the stiff ones you know, for the carpet. You know, there's only vacuum shares, but it's putting the power on. <laughs> See, that one didn't do it as well, did it? That one did a better job. Mm. That's left a little bit behind there, as you can see, look. Whee! So this one's ideal for little jobs. Yeah, it's not picking up the fine dust, is it? You yeah. notice with that one. And next I see, I have got this one back on. <laughs> so we'll put this one back on, and then we'll see the difference. And it's got some dust. Yeah, I know. Well, that's because it's... And I'll go over it. So this is the, the final version of the V4. Yeah, you know. so it's done a better job. So that one there, overall, is a better head than that little one. Um, how about we try this one on the max mode now? Is it cut out? No, I don't know. Oh. That's a, I think that's 80 air watts, I think, well, I think it's 100, I think it's 20 on uh, standard. Uh, and now, and now what, what this head leave? I picked it up. So this one basically has the same... Let's just push it. Almost the, this one... That's the max mode there. That's the these two. So there is, yeah, there is a little bit of difference in it, but there ain't that much difference. Alright, stop screaming. So, not a bad vacuum. Um, if you've used the newer ones, um, you know how much different these are. These were, like no, you say, developments. Maximo grinded it up. Yeah, so what basically does and do, what I've learned over the years from them, is they develop something, they spend the money, then they have to sell the product to, to recuperate what they've put into it, and then go on to something else. Um, uh, so, because they have made, I mean, you know, if you ask anybody who's ever repaired Dyson's and things, they're not all perfect. Um, You know, I could, I could, I could talk about two hours about all the problems with different ones that I've, I've seen over the years with them. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a nice little machine. And as Dyson, I've stopped developing new ones. You know, this is all we're going to see on the market later on. Is all these stick vacs. I mean, um, if you go into Curry's or places like that, and you, and you're there for a couple of hours, like we are quite often, people are walking out with the stick vacs. They're not walking out with the full size machines. 
So basically, data are just, you know, that that's what people are buying. So that's what they need to develop. Like, what's the point to spend the money to develop a mains power one when they when it's like one to ten ratio in sales? You know. People, are you not going to do sales anymore, Dyson? No, but they've actually. Um, well, I, I would think I think they're quite reasonable, really. Yes. Um, the only thing is that the V8 that he had, the pole scratches easy on on these. Um, yes. I'd like to see, I'd like to see some sort of finish on there, which is like scratch resistant. Scratch, scratch resistant, because even the newest ones, are, I've seen scratch ones of them as well. Scratch three tenths. Yeah, the V the V10 one, the V8. The poles on them are just not very good quality at all, are they? No, I, this is the best of things. So, uh, what did you say now, Kyle? <coughs> Come on, get in there a little bit. Right. Yeah, so that's brilliant for your up all three. So, what do you say now, Kyle? Bye for now, and please subscribe to Back to Money. And thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Bye.